Hey, welcome back everybody. Patrick here, moving on to another question. This is a popular question that comes up. So a 50 kilogram object is hanging from a ceiling supported by two ropes that make angles of 20 degrees and 40 degrees with the ceiling respectively. Determine the tensions in each row. So let's draw a diagram of this scenario. So let's say this here is the ceiling. We have an object here and this object weighs what, uh, 50 kilograms? And it is supported by two ropes, these two ropes right here. And these two ropes make angles of 20 degrees and 40 degrees with the ceiling. And we have to calculate the tensions in each rope. Now tension, is just a force. So we're gonna be calculating the force of this rope, let's call it force one, and then the force of this rope, let's call it force two. So these two forces are acting on this object going this way. They're supporting this object, uh, it's making it not fall due to gravity. So those are two forces, and there's also a third force acting on this object, and it's the force of gravity. And the force of gravity is always equal to the mass of the object in kilograms times 9.8. So the mass of this object is 50. Multiply it by 9.8. You'll probably see this constant coming up in your textbook. We get 490 newtons. So the force of gravity is 490 newtons, and we gotta calculate force one and force two, which are acting sort of in the opposite direction in order to keep this object still. Now, because this object is not moving, what it means is it's in a state of equilibrium. And so when you sum up these three forces, it'll always come back to the starting point. So here's what I mean by that. Let's draw this force. The force of gravity is moving down. So let's draw it a little bigger so you can see it. So this here is the force of gravity, which is 490 newtons. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add this force and this force to that. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna come back to where we started because it's in equilibrium. If you remember, if you take three vectors and you add them and you end up getting to where you started at, then these three vectors are in equilibrium. And again, because this object is not moving, right? It's supported by these ropes. That means the force of these ropes is equal to the force of gravity which is pulling the object down. So these ropes are pulling the object up, this force is pulling the object down, and because the object's not moving, then all three forces, or these two forces, have to equal this one. So basically, this force of gravity, let's add F1 to it. So F1 would be like, uh, let's say up here. So this is force one. And then to force one, we're gonna add force two. Now, this, uh, this is a vector here, and its head is up here, and then this is a vector. Its head is up here as well. So we do force one plus force two, so the tail of force two is gonna go here, and then the head of force two has to end at the tail of the force of gravity, right? So now notice that these three vectors are in equilibrium because we ended up where we started. So now notice how we have a triangle. So this is force one, this is force two. And now we can solve for these tensions. The way we do that, we're gonna to have to use these angles somehow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna draw a horizontal dotted line like that. And notice that this angle here, if this is force one, this is force one as well, this angle is 20 degrees, meaning that this is 20 degrees as well. And then notice that 
this is 40 degrees. So if we draw like a pretend ceiling up here, then this angle here is 40 degrees. Well, notice that this is horizontal, this is horizontal. We can use the Z pattern. If this is 40 degrees, then that means this has to be 40 degrees as well. And notice that the force of gravity is straight down. So if this is straight vertically down and then this is horizontal, then we know that this is 90 degrees. So 90 degrees minus 40 degrees, we know that uh, this angle here in the triangle is going to be 50 degrees. So then notice how this here is 60. If we both, uh, if we add both of those angles, 60 plus 50 is 110. What's left? 180 minus 110. This angle is 70 degrees. So now notice how we have a triangle, three angles, one of the sides, so we could solve for the other two sides, and those are going to be the tensions. Okay, so if I take this uh, triangle and draw it again without all of this stuff here, it's just going to be a triangle like this. So this here, 60 degrees. This is 50 up here. This is 70. This is 490. And we're solving for F2, solving for F1. So notice that this is a non-right angle triangle. So to solve stuff, we're either going to have to use sine law or cosine law. And actually notice in this case how we have an angle in the opposite side, so it's probably best to use the sine law. So we can say sine of 60 over 490 equals, let's solve for F1 first. So sine of 50, the opposite angle to F1, all over F1. So now notice how we can cross multiply. So F1 times sine 60 equals 490 times sine 50. And now we could isolate for this F1 by dividing both sides by sine 60. So F1 is going to be 490 times sine 50 all over sine 60. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting 433.43, and this is a force, so it is in newtons. So that's the tension of this rope here. So F1, 433.43 newtons. That is one of the answers. And now let's solve for this F2 here. So same thing, we can do sine 60 over 490 equals sine 70 over F2. And when we cross multiply and we isolate for F2, we would have 490 times sine 70 all over sine 60. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting 531.68 newtons. So that is the other answer. That's the tension of that second rope. So F2, 531.68 newtons. All right, so when you get a question like this, first draw this diagram. So you got the two forces, the two rope forces moving this way. And then you got the force of gravity. And usually you're going to have to calculate this by taking the mass of the object multiplying it by 9.8. I did it here before, had to erase it. And then once you have this diagram down, you want to draw basically the force of gravity plus those two rope forces. And because it's an equilibrium, the object is not moving. When you add up all of these forces, you're going to end up starting or end up at where you started at that starting point. And then you got to use these angles here, just do the Z pattern, and then you'll end up with a triangle like this. And then you can just use sine law to solve for those respective rope forces. Now, another thing I want to mention is this type of question usually comes in two different formats. So one format is where you're given the angles, like we were here. But another format is where they don't give you the angles, they tell you how long each of these ropes are 
and what's the distance between them. So you actually have to figure out these angles first and then go through this process. So in that case, it's a little bit tougher and we're actually gonna cover that in the next video.